Good morning, it's Tuesday, and I'm still reading through Barbara Brown Taylor's book. And um, she's talking in this chapter about Sabbath time. She asks herself, how long has it been since I had remembered the Sabbath? I was certainly aware of the concept. I had even dedicated Friday my Sabbath instead of my day off. But on that day, as on every day of the week, I stayed very busy. Seems like we have a hard time with Sabbath when we feel like we need to keep busy all the time. And she talks about uh, that while remembering the sa Sabbath really does involve a radical shift of priorities. Observant Jews have kept the Sabbath holy, even those caring for half a dozen children and elderly parents whose needs do not stop when the sun goes down. Sabbath is written into the ancient covenant with God. Remember the Sabbath, the rabbis say, and you fulfill all of Torah. Stop for one whole day every week and you'll remember what it means to be created in the image of God who rested on the seventh day, not from weariness, but from complete freedom. The clear promise is that those who rest like God find themselves free like God, no longer slaves to a thousand compulsions that send others rushing towards their graves. Pretty powerful words. And here we are in a Sabbath time, away from the usual things that we plan on doing in the year. It's a great time to think about this God who created us, the power God has, and our part that we play in the church in presenting, representing this God to others. May you have a blessed Tuesday, and so let us pray. Oh God, help us to rest from all our compulsions. Help us to take in your grace and love without rushing off to the next thing or the next thought or the next task. Help us to sit with you and take you fully into our souls so that we might understand our role in this universe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.